State Management in ASP.NET Introduction State management means to preserve state of a control, web page, object slash data, and user in the application explicitly because All ASP.NET web applications are stateless, i.e., by default, for each page posted to the server, the state of controls is lost. Nowadays all web apps demand a high level of state management from control to application level. There are two types of state management techniques, client-side and server-side. Client-side. Hidden field. Cookies. View state. Control state. Query strings. Server-side. Session. Application. Client-side methods. Hidden field. A hidden field is used for storing small amounts of data on the client side. In most simple words it's just a container of some objects but their result is not rendered on our web browser. It is invisible in the browser. It stores a value for the single variable and it is the preferable way when a variable's value is changed frequently but we don't need to keep track of that every time in our application or web program cookies a set of cookies is a small text file that is stored in the user's hard drive using the client's browser cookies are just used for the sake of the user's identity matching as it only stores information such as sessions IDs some frequent navigation or post back request objects whenever we get connected to the internet for accessing a specific service the Cookie file is accessed from our hard drive via our browser for identifying the user. The cookie access depends upon the life cycle or expiration of that specific cookie. File. View state. In general we can say it is used for storing user data in ASP.NET, sometimes in ASP.NET applications the user wants to maintain or store their data temporarily after a postback. In this case view state is the most used and preferred way of doing that. This property is enabled by default but we can make changes depending on our functionality, what we need to do is just change the enable view state value to either true for enabling it or false for the opposite. Operation Query strings Query strings are used for some specific purpose. These in a general case are used for holding some value from a different page and move these values to the different page. The information stored in it can be easily navigated to one page to another or to the same page as well. Control state. Control state is another client-side state management technique. Whenever we develop a custom control and want to preserve some information, we can use view state but suppose view state is disabled explicitly by the user, the control will not work as expected. For expected results for the control we have to use control state property. Control state is separate from view state server side methods session session management is a very strong technique to maintain state. Generally session is used to store users information and slash or uniquely identify a user or say browser the server maintains the state of user information by using a session ID. When users makes a request without a session ID, ASP.NET creates a session ID and sends it with every request and response to the same user. Application Application state is a server-side state management technique. The date stored in application state is common for all users of that particular ASP.NET application and can be accessed anywhere in the application. It is also called application level. State management. Data stored in the application should be of small size. 